I'm Rachel for Vid Atlantic. If you know about shooting with anamorphic lenses, then you've probably heard about the Cinemorph filters available at vidatlantic.com. All of our filters are made with high quality optical glass and assembled onto a smooth rotating filter frame for proper alignment. Since most anamorphic lenses need to be focused separately along with the SLR lens, the Cinemorph filter allows you to focus your SLR lens normally and it gives you anamorphic looks without all the hassles. It doesn't actually stretch or squeeze your image like a real anamorphic lens does, but you can simply crop or add black letterbox at the top and bottom of your image to get that effect very easily. It creates the key characteristics of anamorphic lenses, such as the oval bokeh, vertical stretching of the areas out of focus, and of course, the flares and streaks. There's also a version of the Cinemorph filter available without the flare and streak element. The filter was developed to go hand in hand with real anamorphic lens footage for when you need to rack focus your lens from one subject to another, or when you needed quick run and gun filming. We do recommend using the same types of lenses that you'll need for shooting with real anamorphic lenses. 50mm on crop cameras and 75 to 85mm lenses on full frame cameras. Although some 35mm lenses do work with crop cameras and some 60mm lenses do work with the full frame cameras, we still recommend a little tighter focal length to safely avoid heavy vignetting. Lenses with smaller fronts work best, like the old Nikon and Canon FD lenses, or the old Russian and Japanese M42 mount lenses. All of these can be mounted to almost any camera using simple converter rings. These type of lenses are sharp, fun, well-built, and much more affordable than newer lenses. Look for the Helios 58mm lenses for crop cameras and the Jupiter and Nikon 85mm f2 lenses for full-frame cameras. Also, we recommend using prime, non-zoom lenses as they have faster apertures and tend to have smaller fronts, allowing them to play nicely with the Cinemorph filter as well as real anamorphic lenses. If your SLR lens front has a different front size than the two filter sizes of 58mm or 77mm, then we simply recommend using step up or step down rings. These can be found on eBay or in most camera shops for only a few dollars. It's good to try and match the front size as close as possible. If you go with too large of a filter with a smaller front SLR lens, what happens is that the top and bottom of any oval bokeh shapes could be slightly cut off. It'll still stretch the bokeh vertically and you'll still get the streaks and flares, but the bokeh light shaping may not always be perfectly oval. This also happens with real anamorphic lens combos as well, so it's a real characteristic of anamorphic filming. Lastly, we have a flare streak filter that doesn't have all these limitations and can pretty much work on any SLR lens and camera. Shooting like this can give your images a cinematic edge and is definitely a way to give your videos a stand apart from the crowd look. Add a little flair to your videos and like always, have fun and get creative.